Hey everyone, it's Anna. Welcome back to my channel and thank you for visiting. I wanted to come on tonight and share a couple projects with you as well as a couple things that came in the mail. Um, we're going to start with the projects. So I used my Friends Like You Make Life Bearable stamp. This is one of the sentiments that, uh, sentiments that I released with Whippersnapper a couple releases ago. Uh, this is my Distressed Christmas. It, this was part of the most recent release and this is just super um, fine text and a beautiful red rubber stamp. So that one's called Distressed Christmas. And then I also used Tangled Bear, and he was also from my most recent uh, release for fall and winter. I love him. I used this uh, old uh, die set from Spellbinders. I don't know what it's called anymore, um, but it's just kind of like a peony type flower die. And then I also used this die from Sizzix, and it was the Life Made Simple line. This was their take, kind of like uh, Project Life cards. Um, so this is a, basically a, like a 4x6. And the number of this one is 660014, if you wanted to look for it on the used marketplace. Uh, it's called Wood Grain, and this one is from 2014. So, um, not new. <laughs> So let me go ahead and share you, uh, show you my first project. I made a card. This card is a little over, it's about four and three eighths by six and three eighths. So there's my cute bear. Um, he's stamped on a circle. Oh, I, um, a circle die was from uh, Hero Arts, the concentric uh, circle dies that have the deckled edge. And then here's that uh, Spellbinders die here. And then here is the um, wood grain panel. I have it die cut out of a light brown cardstock that I inked and stamped with a Christmas text. And then I mounted it over top of a darker brown piece of cardstock. And then I gave it all a good spritz with my shimmer spray. And I even splattered on some antique gold uh, watercolor paints. So you can really see those sparkles there. I like how it... Um, looks down here on the tag. The um, the uh, shimmer spray kind of uh, dampened the paper, and so when I flicked on the uh, antique gold, it kind of soaked into the paper, and I think that looks really cool, especially right here too. So that's my first project. And then I also made a project using a couple other things. Um, I used this, this uh, Crafter's Companion gingerbread man die that I picked up from Crafter's Companion a couple of, I don't know, a month ago or so. And um, this is a really cute shape. So if you don't have a gingerbread guy, that might be a good one. I also used this stamp um, and I think probably just, I don't know, probably this one here, just for a little bit of stuff in the background. And then I also used the star die or the uh, star stamp from the Jolly Holiday set from uh, Stampers Anonymous. So, um, and then I also used one of the faces from Jill's Favorites from Peachy Keen. This was a collab set that Jill Norwood did uh, with Peachy Keen and so she was able to put in a bunch of the faces that she's used over the years and size them to all of the gingerbread dies that she has. So, or, or had at the time I should say because I'm sure she's acquired more. <laughs> But this is a really great set too. So this is again from Peachy Keen. And here is my little ginger. <laughs> so um, I die cut this two layers of that die. There's a uh, base layer and then an inside layer. So I die cut them out of two separate colors of brown cardstock. Here you can see where I've stamped the ginger's body with some of the stamps. Um, she's inked up with the walnut stain uh, distress oxide. So when I added my shimmer spray, it kind of gave those little um, lighter colored polka dots that you can see there and there. And then of course I used one of the faces from that set from Peachy Keen. I tied on a little um, yarn scarf. I don't know how to crochet, so um, I'm stuck with basically just looping string around their neck, but that's fine. And then I added a couple of these little clay candy pieces those are really cute. And then I have some of these um, in my stash. And uh, so I decided to adhere one to the top of her head. I think she turned out really cute. I did use 
um, picked raspberry um, oxide ink on her cheeks. So I just sponged a little bit of pink there on her cheeks. And I think she turned out super cute. So I don't know what I'll do with her. Probably turn her into a tag or maybe, maybe hang her from her little hand there as a gift tag maybe. So, but anywho, those are my two projects. Now let me share a couple things that came in the mail. Um, this set from Hero Arts, um, I picked up on the Joann's site and it's uh, CM416 and I don't think it has a name. Oh, floral, Hero Florals Lavender Bunch 3x4. So I just thought this was a very sweet little stamp set. It has lots of really nice sentiments in the typewriter font that I love. There's happy anniversary, thank you, hey there, best wishes, sending healing thoughts, and hello, and to a dear friend. So it's loaded with sentiments, I love that. And then two really beautiful lavender sprigs and even a bee. So this is such a sweet little stamp set and it's very affordable being this three by four size. So um, if you are a fellow gardener, I grow lots of lavender um, and I thought this would be perfect to uh, make little tags when I give my little bunches of lavender stems away. So really cute little set. And then also the, um, the stamp containers or storage envelopes that I picked up from the Essentials by Ellen store on Amazon came. And so in perfect timing as well, because tonight when I was working uh, with my bear stamp, I ripped off the little closure flap of my storage envelope. So this would be a perfect time for when I would actually um, take it out of there. And I will save this and use this for little acetate windows. Um, and then I will basically um, take a storage packet out of here and put him in there and I don't want to do it on camera because it's super crinkly but here's an example of one of the stamps in one of their storage envelopes so it's really nice and sturdy it's just the perfect size and the stamp is uh, nice and tucked away inside there so you do have to trim down the insert just a smidge like maybe maybe a quarter inch, maybe not even a quarter inch, um, so that it doesn't um, rub up against the, the top of the flap. But just a quick little trim down here and a quick little trim up here and it's good to go. So I thought I would mention that. I'll put a link to these envelopes. They're really nice and sturdy. Um, so she closed her shop, her .com site, but she opened up a Amazon storefront and she's selling uh, Essentials by Ellen stamps, dies, and um, things like this. So. Anywho, thanks so much for watching. Hope you love my little projects. <laughs> I think uh, I think she turned out super cute. And this is going in the mail to a friend of mine. So friends like you make life bearable. <laughs> but thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great night. And I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye.